greetings and salutations. Hello, hello, um, beautiful people who watch my videos. Welcome to another video with me, Tamara Laporte from Willy Wing Arts. Uh, today I wanted to, um, basically recently I've had a couple of requests for some people um, to have a, a little flip through through my uh, latest or biggest journal. And uh, it was actually requested by a couple of my Lifebook students. And so I thought, you know what? I will do that and I will put it onto YouTube as well for everyone to see. So, um, now, I the last time you guys, well, if you follow every single video I've ever uploaded, <laughs> uploaded then the last time I showed you this journal was actually when we did, when I did this spread. Uh, Luna in the Sky, I think. Yep, this spread. You've seen me create that on a video. But before that, I did a, uh, a sort of a flip through. Or I talked about working big. And so since then, just by the by, the by I have not been working small anymore. Lately, all I do, the minimum I work on is this size, which is 16 by 12. I can't seem to bother with smaller sizes anymore. You know, you go through phases, right? In many, many years to come, they'll say, that was her big face. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a <clears throat> bit of a cold. Right, so, by the the previous video that I'll link now, which is was all about working big, which is here. You can check that out if you want. Um, I, I came, I mean, the journal wasn't very full yet. So, let me just go back. And because there's another one under there that <laughs> this one is not full yet, but a lot fuller and a lot of the pages are not finished, but I have a tendency to lose connection if I don't keep working on a certain page. And so some of them are half finished, some of them are fully finished, some pages are only scribbled, some pages I'm really unhappy with and want to go over. And I have set myself the challenge to create a journal where every page I like. So if I can find the time, at some point I might just do that to this journal, because it's a very bulky, nice journal, and I'd like to kind of finish it in such a way that I like all the pages. So um, I'm going to just show you the, the flip through and then tell you and talk to you a little bit about the pages. So um, this is the first page. Page is actually the inside cover as well. That is a, a watercolor watercolor pa paper actually they've included against the cardboard cover. By the way, this journal is a Robertson watercolor sketchbook and they are produced in England and why I love them is because the paper that is used inside is is comes close to the, the sort of perfect quote unquote perfect paper for me personally. Many people often ask me which journals I use. I will put a link below in the description but I just have to warn you if you're anywhere other than in the States, uh, sorry in the UK, it'll be hard to find these and then you have to order them from the UK. They're heavy and pricey so just be aware. And also you don't need a journal like this. You could, you could make your own or you know, there's good there's good ones um, in the States as well. I think Strath, Strath, Strathmore, Strathmore do some good ones for mixed media, though I personally really want watercolour papers, so I'm really happy with these. I'm not changing at the moment. Anywho, so here we go. So um, I started on this journal maybe two years ago, I think. Yes, two years ago. This I did in, in Lewis. So it's been around for a while. And the... I want you to get the full, the full picture. Mm, there we go. And so uh, the... Just... And so, you know, it has a variety of styles. For instance, in the, in the beginning I was very much very focused on um, inks and I like doing Zen type doodles and hair, so there's a little bit of that here, a lot of ink. Delusions ink, which I still love actually, but then I couldn't stop doing them. <laughs> so I go through phases of, you know, different materials that I become obsessed with and then a different new thing happens or a different type of face or a different type of thing. <laughs> here I had something under it and I really didn't like it so I start, I just started just start over it and then I started a, a, a face and that's where it is <laughs> at some point I might finish it isn't it an amazing piece of <laughs> minimalistic art then this page here you may have seen before I really like this I don't I won't do it this I consider finished I won't do anything more to this it's very meaningful some writing there there's all kinds of stuff in here that I love so yeah, here I was experimenting with paler facial skin tones. <coughs> Excuse me, and against and used black. So I started to kind of 
bring in black, I don't know many, but you know, again, black is was a new thing for me, and I said the neon pinks. And then the, and that continued on. I like the black, bring in the black. There's a lot of acrylics on this page, which is unusual for me. This is the Phoenix Rising uh, image. I like that a lot. Here, I'm not so um, fond of this area here, and the bit muddy colours, so I could improve that, but overall I've accepted this page as these two, this spread is finished. <laughs> Excuse me. This I really like. <laughs> Again, the black, so I kept going on with the black around the face and seeing, just making these crazy sort of hair things that were not really hair. Um, and I love to just experimenting with all that and what you could do with when you had a big chunk of black and how that worked compositionally and what you could do with that. And then this feels like a really weird unfinished page and because of that I liked it even more. Some little bits of scribbling, a little bit of strange colouring, a bit of um, ink and splatter and what is it, uh, stencils. Yeah, all oh, perfect. It's really, this feels like a real kind of journal page. What I mean by that is, it's not a finished sort of painting that you would hang up. It's really about expressing and journaling and writing about who you are or lyrics or anything. That's I like that about these this spread. This is absolutely something I really don't like. <laughs> so I don't like this type of face. I don't like the colours I've used. I don't like the blue that I've used. I don't like the combination of everything. So that's why I finished it. And this will be gessoed over. Just so you know, this I'd like you to, like to tell you guys how it goes for me. So some people think that every painting painting I make I love or something, and I don't absolutely don't. This is a long time ago now though. It's still sitting there, and it's still an eyesore to me. I personally don't like it at all. So it's gonna go now. This spread I really love. So it's really weird. They are unconnected images like the quirky bird or the owl, and then some face that is sort of upturned and it sits in the corner. They are unconnected and I love them because they are connected. The yellow connects these two pages and the green because it sort of goes over. So it's the, the, the two, they're connected and this is sort of unfinished. But again, I like that about some journal pages because the sort of the focus goes to the face and the bird and I don't know. I like it a lot. I'm not going to do anything to this anymore. Okay, then ah, this is quite a new thing. Uh, did this, um, so I like this as well, this sort of stuff very much. I mean, the... The stag is a bit off, like I would have liked it. I didn't have, when I did this, I didn't have a lot of materials with me, sorry. So I was limited in my, in my, what I had available. But the girl I really like, I like her introspection, the eyes closed, the shape of the face, subtle shading here. And she's sort of leaning against this stag. The stag I would have liked to have done better, or more to it. And then there's just this random little hand. I was playing with hands. Hands, hands, drying out hands. Pretty happy with these hands. This has got a strange ring finger, but I thought the shape overall was good. And I like the collaging here. There's the background here. I think I did this in Paris when I was with Jane. So yeah, so I like this uh, spread. I could do more to it, but I don't think it's needed. Um, I like it as it is. Alright, um, really don't like this bit here at all, and I, the whole thing I lost connection with. I quite like this little girl, she's so quirky and with her bunny ears, but the colours and everything was a bit, I don't know, not quite, and the facial expressions, meh, it's okay, I like, quite like her. But then this, there wasn't meant to be a bird of some sort, the bird didn't work out, and then I lost it, lost the connection. But I can work, come back to this and do something with it actually at some point, maybe. This I don't like, it's just an abstract. The, th the colours, I think, in the end didn't work out. I don't know. I like indigo, I was playing with indigo. Indigo is a tricky colour sometimes for me. Um, yeah, but it's okay. But I was more experimental. Uh, the moment I don't include mm, faces, it starts to get a bit like, ah, but I can. I've done a lot of fl just floral stuff, but it has to be done a certain way. I need to move away from acrylics. There's a lot of acrylics in this, and I can't cope with acrylics because it's just so... It seals everything in, and it's very hard to get that um, transparency going that I love. I love transparency. So then, this is a spread that I absolutely loved, and I made a video of this, didn't I? A YouTube video of this. That's the last thing I did publicly on this. No, the other one, Luna, yeah. That's a little love. I love all of this. There's also acrylics in there, but there's a lot happening here. And then again, that black hair came back. There's a lot of doodles that I love. Symbolism, words, everything. I love this. Love, 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 love. Very nice. So happy about that. And this is something I absolutely love as well. So here I was really playing with 
using one side of the page as sort of a focal point with a face or something, and then the rest just to be as expressive as that and as um, non needed to not be pretty, but it, it to me it's still pretty, but I, the focus isn't pretty. So the focus is just like playing with what happens if I do this and then add water and oh that purple is so pretty on the tombow, I'm gonna add that. And so personally to me I really like this combination a lot. It's very sort of interesting to me that there's lots going on here, less going on here, but there's playfulness and expressiveness. I love that. Right, and here it's just, um, these are sketches, tryouts for ideas and things, and these sketches I absolutely love. And I like them so much that I didn't really want to, um, I didn't really want to add paint. I quite like them as they were. Do you remember the, the group hug? Did I do this before? I think that they did this after. So the type of group hug um, sort of sketch, there's a video of that of mine, let me show you that. Here, group hug, group hug, see video group hug here. So you go there. And this is so pretty, I love it. And then I was experimenting with this was um snowflakes. This was for my winter snowflakes class, sort of experimenting, trying things out. Yep. Then this was an acrylics thing where I just wanted to be more abstract. So there's a figure here. And for a while I hated it, then I loved it, then I hated it, and I loved it, and I'm now sort of in between. I quite I do quite like it, but I think it needs more I think be needs more a bit more Clarity, what I mean is, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I like it. So there's a bird and a character and feathers or something, I don't know. Quite nice, quite nice, not bad. Lotus, plants. Here, uh, a bit of journaling. Mm, uh, this was two things were done separately. I think I'm very happy with this type of face, it was really elfin. So really working through feelings and stuff and trying to allow things to be. Then here, um, this face initially I didn't like and then I kind of added all these kind of like kind of extreme colours and words and washi tape on the face and you know and just these little extra sketches of characters and now I like the combination of this these two these two pages together a lot even though it's not finished it could do more to it but I like it. I'm happy with that. Then this was a actually a class so this is the Phoenix Rising for Radiant. If you're interested, you can learn how to create this page. I think it's still available, Radiant. Look it up with uh, by Effie Wild. Uh, this is Phoenix Rising. Very happy with this page. Double spread, love it a lot. Here, uh, this is a very important page for me where I was going through a really deep, dark time. And uh, I included a stream of thought consciousness writing typed up in here. And I like, really loved how this face came out. Uh, yeah, whole love it all. And then this here, the only reason that eye is done by itself is because I, I demonstrated how I do an eye uh, for Heidi's uh, summit. We did a summit with her. This, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I quite like it. The colours don't work out, but I like that the... I was trying to very be very loose. When did I do this? A long time ago, already. Trying to be very loose and playful and painterly, and it's too much acrylics. The moment I bring in too much acrylics, it kind of a loose touch. It doesn't work, but I, there's something about this that I do like. Lots of collage in here as well. This one I love. Little girl on the back of a bird. Really nice. Colors a little bit whoa, but not bad. So the bird that, that worked for me. I liked the uh, the whole concept of it that she's sitting on the back of this bird. Nice one. Okay, this was uh, started in. I started these two characters at home. Excuse me, last year, and then I kind of didn't do anything with them, and then I went to Paris with Jane and then she had a couple of techniques where you used images of of your own work, other work, and then kind of painted or created extra bodies or things around it. So these two faces are faces of two of my other paintings and then you created all that extra stuff around it. So I like this but it doesn't feel finished. Um, yeah, so I'm sort of like, I like her face a lot actually. She's probably my favourite face there, for sweet. 
sweet face. Then this I really like. It's a nice, nice page. I don't know. I just love it. I can't explain. I just love everything about it. The colour indigo again. Indigo, indigo and purpley came back. Just This was in response to Holder on a poem by an amazing girl called... Sarah Tempest, I think her name is. She's amazing. So it's a stand, stand up poetry, really. Or is it slam poetry? Amazing girl. Anyway, so that was a response to that. And I really like what I like about this as well is that I'm going to leave this blank, you see. So there's only drips and messy leftover paint here. And then this takes all the attention. Really like this. Okay, so here's some weird sketches that I don't like and left. So I can rub this out and maybe start again. Could do that today. Uh, may, maybe even do that. So use these two pages for a new concept, new idea, and then fast time lapse that for you guys. This I love as well. This is very much in touch with this connected to this one. So I like this one so much. I wanted to do something similar, but not the same. Obviously, it's very different. But the color scheme very similar, as you can see. The indigo is back. The orange less. Uh, it's less magenta here, there's some magenta, but not the same. Yeah, and I like this one a lot as well. Sister Snow, cool. Love this page, this, this spread so much. It's very nice. Ugh, sorry, my, my, I'm so um, stuffy nose. So it's got ink in it, it's got stencil in it, it's got scribbling, nothing, you know, like just crazy expressive, really nice expressive, uh, expressive stuff. <laughs> really like this spread a lot. This one here, uh, we did a lesson on this. This is not the actual lesson. I redid this as a lesson for Lifebook last year and you can buy this lesson actually now called, what did I call it? Follow Your Happy. Uh, and I teach how we do the swan and the lady sideways. So love this, really like it. I like, I like the idea of putting this one that way. Although I like, don't quite like the colours here, I have to say, the green. But my lesson is different. This area of my lesson becomes completely different. Anyway, so I like this spread a lot. Where are we going? Okay, Luna. Yeah, this was great. We've I've done this and you guys, some of you may have seen that video. If you haven't, it is here. Here. That's a really cool video. I'm very happy with this spread. Worked out well. Nice colours. Lovely owl. Like the tree idea and the moon. It all worked out. This was a. This is. I like this actually. This was an. Ex this is actually part of a lesson. This might be part of this lesson actually. Uh, that lesson, because I talk about playing and, and just going with what you like. So here. I demonstrated how I just follow my happy in colours and shape. And I want to try this now. I'm trying to try some washi tape. I want to try some collage. I'm trying to do 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 do. And it's very helpful to do this as warming up and not getting too fixed on. Uh, it has to be pretty. Oh my god! Oh god! And being afraid even of touching the white blank space and just making and 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 ruining things. Like allowing yourself playful, expressive uh, exercises like this you will free yourself up and you'll be less worried about how your next painting is going to look, you know what I mean? So that's actually, that this part, that's part of that other lesson if you're interested. Anyway, so here, this is just the face that isn't quite finished. Quite like it, but us, again, then I got bored, maybe I wanted to do anything else. And here's a faint sketch that I didn't like, I, I erased it. Here, there's, here's some kind of experimenting with different kinds of characters. I think this one was Mindy Lacefield inspired. This little girl here. Excuse me. This was, I can't remember where I got that from. Just uh, trying out things. Uh, which I'd lost interest in, didn't like. Here, I really like this. This is where I started with just ink splatter like really intense ink splatter and drew the face on top of it and I love the effect. Also like this a lot. This is just a doily and I sprayed through it. Very nice effect. So I really like this as a double spread together. And then here's the end of the book. And uh, I got bothered with this. I, I don't know. <laughs> this I like her quite a bit. She was just, this has became too acrylic-y and then I lost interest, the colours weren't working out so much. 
I liked it though, it's still sweet. I really like this bunny doggy type thing. Yeah, so that's the end of that this journal, but end I say end, it's really not finished because there's a lot of pages in here that could I could work on. But I often want to just start anew, right? As many of us are like that. So it's but I, I want to set myself a challenge really to keep working in this journal so that to the point where I'm happy with pretty much every page. So if I, you know, like for instance here, the last page, I'm not quite, what am I doing? So what I, I'm gonna set myself a challenge to do at some point, if I have time, <laughs> is to fix every page or continue on every page until I'm happy with everything about it. Or until I kind of say, like for instance, I don't like this at all. So I change the coloring, I might take to change the shape of her eyes or something, I don't know. Whatever I don't like about it, I'm gonna change. So that is the challenge I'm going to set myself. But anyway, so this is, I wanted to kind of show you guys just another little peek into this uh, massive journal. It's quite wonderful to have. Excuse me. And uh, if I, after, once I've done a lot more work in it again, I show, like for instance this one, I'm just going to go, I don't want to keep that. Uh, what am I saying? So once, once I've like updated it again, I can show you guys maybe where, once it's finished or final, I can show you how I like my final book. So, and I brought this one out, uh, just to show you, this is a new journal that I started, uh, which I want to dedicate to uh, self-portraits only. So, here we go, here's a self-portrait, by self-portrait I don't mean it has to look like me, but this was a photo of me, and uh, I painted over it. And then, yeah, I like this spread actually a lot. So this is the first page and it's called, it says, the book is all about the wholeness and fullness of me. So I want to dedicate it to me or people, people, everything, I mean, everything, all the journaling is always about me, but I'd like it somehow to incorporate photos or very strongly symbolic elements that are meant to represent me. And it's a meant to be a healing journal. Like it says here, you are whole, whole, and it's meant to be sort of a, almost like a dream board affirmation type journal where I'm just completely imbuing myself with positive beautiful stuff or an honoring of who I am so if I'm feeling sad and I need to process that that can go in here as well so that's what this journal is about and I do recommend or I, I invite you to do something like that as well but I've only done one page and uh, one spread in there so it's very fresh and new and I'm excited about starting in this book as well the only thing I don't like is the yellow I wish I hadn't used the yellow makes it weird makes it weird when you the yellow pulls I mean, yellow is too bright. Do you see what I mean? Anyway, if there was no yellow, it would, it would, the balance of colors would work better. Anyway, so I might fix that, but other than that, I really like this. And I've like, oh yeah, and I've recently really started liking die cuts, so I, it's a very new for me, because normally collage just sort of ends up in the background. I, I really, really use collage uh, as the foreground. And I mean, I've started doing that there. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed a little peek into my journal and my thoughts on the pages and how I want to approach dealing with it. Next, sorry about my sniffy nose and my weird voice. And so back to the old journal, the other journal. I think today I'm going to challenge myself to work in it. And maybe I'll just take that other, I'm going to, I'm going to take this page and I'm going to rub out the, I'm going to erase the, Oops, pencil marks that are here. And then I'm just going to do another spread. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to make. Uh, I'm going to just sit around, have a think, and look for some inspiration. And then I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. And if you guys enjoy my type of art and you like to learn from me, please visit www. Well, how many W's is that? Just three, three really www.willowing.org for art classes and blog posts but mostly uh, art classes <laughs> so I hope to see you around and uh, I will try and upload another art video with music on YouTube very soon alright guys thank you for watching today bye